I am gonna say something controversial that most of you guys will not like. F that Bitcoin ETF. F that shit. <laughs> Now I know a bunch of hype, go hype boys is gonna see that title. You gonna come to that channel, come to the channel, ready to downvote. Not even, not even willing to listen to what I have to say, but just allow their weak ass emotions to override the necessity of listening to something before actually taking a judgment on something. Why? Because we live in a hype boy phase where everyone wants to get rich overnight. Everyone has this idea of this token and that token and millionaire 2024, millionaire this bull run, and it's all BS. And I believe that most people are probably going to end up broke, which is why I've made the videos I've made, such as, are you gonna pursue growth or pleasure? Because if you have this get rich mindset, I guarantee you, even if you get rich, you'll lose it. Because that's not how wealth is built. At least for me personally, I'm not trying to get rich. I am trying to build wealth. And then I'm not trying to cash out and go buy a damn Lambo. Most dudes are trying to cash out and go buy a damn Lambo. Most dudes are trying to go to freaking Pat, uh, Columbia or get some money to go pursue some ass for the week. And come back <laughs> after they spent their profits to have to go back to their job and wait another bull cycle or two. I'm not trying to live like that. I personally believe slow and steady growth. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate the grind of building your crypto portfolio over time. You see, most of us don't come from money. Most of us are probably gonna be the first individuals in our families to have significant something. Have a significant something. Most of us are gonna be that. And it's a beautiful thing. However, we cannot be foolish in how we go about things. I say F the Bitcoin ETF because there's so much noise surrounding the Bitcoin ETF. There's so much noise in the crypto space regarding this token is going to this. This token is going to do that. When you actually read, right? I've been in this space since 2020. When you actually read or listen to people who have been in the space for years, you'll understand that a lot of the projects that were around in 2012 were not around in 2015. 2015, they weren't around in 2018. 2018, they weren't around in 2024. A lot of these projects have gone shoo, down to out of the top 100. And only a select few are still around. For example, people try to shit on Litecoin because Litecoin doesn't go up, down, up, all crazy. Which is why I like Litecoin. Like, this is why I like Litecoin. Because it's a stable kind of, it's not crazy. And a few other projects are like that as well. I say F that Bitcoin ETF because at the end of the day, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. We have to understand that the big players are there to fake us out, to fake you out so you can sell your position, so you can Take profits. Let me tell you something. I don't think BlackRock, once they're officially in, that they're gonna be thinking about taking profits. I believe they're gonna be thinking about 100 years from now. Uh, uh, Michael Saylor, 100 years from now. And any other investor, 100 years from now. If you believe this is the future of money, you are not thinking about bull cycle to bull cycle. You're thinking decade to decade to decade. And most people here in this space are not thinking decade to decade, which is why most people, I believe, are gonna go broke over time. And even if they get money, they've never had money, they've never really had to. When you 
when you know what it means to put in hours to save up a thousand dollars and then ten thousand dollars and then you say you got to be real prudent and careful of where you put that thousand dollars and you put six five six seven eight hundred dollars into bitcoin maybe a hundred dollars into ethereum and then maybe another hundred dollars into something else you care for every dollar you care for every single penny because you know what it meant to go to a job that you hated to save up a thousand dollars you know the mornings the evenings the nights the weekends to work just to get to that thousand dollar position and then watch that thousand dollars grow into something else into a higher amount because you're investing in crypto that is prudent investing but most people are not investors they're traders f those crypto influences man telling you to buy bonk and pepe and all these other bullshit projects not telling you that they have been given tokens they have been given money to promote the bull crap they're telling you to buy I mean, just when I hear people promoting this project and this project and this project, it just it's just a turn off to me. Because you don't have your viewers' best interest in mind. So I'm gonna end it here. Yes, the Bitcoin ETF is very important. Very important. But understand something. The big players have been in this space for years. They're the reasons why we have a trillion dollar market. Not retail. Please understand that. And they'll tell you different narratives. They'll fake you out of your positions. Oh, the ETF is gonna get denied. Oh, this, oh, that. To fake you out. Don't be faked out. Don't worry about the Bitcoin ETF. That's why I say, don't worry about Bitcoin. Don't worry about crypto. Focus on your skills. Focus on your income. Focus on what are you doing to become more valuable in the workplace, in the marketplace, so that you can have more money to invest in Bitcoin. I pay attention to Bitcoin and the price. I watch, I, I write it down every week. However, my focus when I get up, how do I find sellers? How do I find buyers? How do I build relationships so that I can be more valuable? So that I can get more sales? And then get a closed check of five, 10, 20 grand. And then boom. Couple grand in here, couple grand in there, couple grand in there. That's my focus. That's what needs to be your focus, not the ATF. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Don't, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't stay up to up to date. I'm not saying don't study the space. We have to study. We have to keep up to date up to date on things. But the the true way to success is boring. It's not exciting. It's not high up and down emotions highs and lows it's literally consistent actions over time dollar cost averaging dollar cost averaging continually 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 so I'm just saying yo don't get caught up in the nonsense man don't get caught up in the fanboy stuff don't get caught up in the new projects I mean don't get me wrong I really like 100 coin and I like Richard Hart. I'm looking at Hex. Why? I like Hex because I believe that as well as 100, it, they're very similar in terms of locking up yourself for the long term. If I had, if there was a mechanism where I had to sit and wait for a certain period of time before going in and out of a project, I would have so much more money. I would probably hit six figures already in crypto. That's why I like 100. When I see a uh, uh, hex and you're rewarded for your long term investment, your long term input, that to me says, yo, I am willing to put in $30 here, $30 there, $30 there, $30 there for the long, for 10, 15 years. I like that thought process. That is how real wealth is built. 100 coin. 
You buy it, you gotta wait 100 hours. You send it to your hard drive, 100 hours. You send it back to the exchange, 100 hours. Everything, you have to wait. I can't tell you how many times that's kept me in place from selling it because I gotta wait 100 hours. And I love the concept. I really love the concept. And I believe that that is gonna be the future of a lot of crypto projects and a lot of different companies that can offer that. Because it's so volatile, it's so, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Am I, am I just out of my mind? Am I saying something that makes sense? I wanna hear your opinion. So I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.